So we have a lot of tools, as I'm sure all of you do. Um, so when we have a computer that's been offline for X number of days, sure, we can remove it out of automate uh, super easily. Uh, but how do we make sure it's not in control? How do we make sure it's archived in IT glue or removed from Huntress or Emibot? Um, so we have to go through and make sure that that agent is gone from everywhere. So what I have is a little form here. You can pick a client, um, a ticket that is associated with that client, um, and then a computer. And this computer dropdown will only show you offline computers, uh, offline computers, excuse me. Um, so if, uh, if a client doesn't have any offline machines, they won't show up at all. If they do, you'll get that list. Um, but that's to prevent people from trying to run this on machines that are uh, online because we only want to do this if they've been offline for X number of days. Um, so this one's a little bit bigger, but we basically go in. Um, we're getting the computer details from Automate. Um, and then we kind of go down the tree here. So for Automate, we have to uh, run a script inside Automate that removes the agent. Um, I couldn't find a way to actually retire the agent via the API um, other than running a script on it, but um, there may be a way that I wasn't able to find, I guess. Um, then for IT glue, um, what I decided to do was archive the asset because we have everything synced. And if you try to just delete the asset in IT glue, it doesn't let you because it's a synced asset. Um, so if you archive it, it at least goes away uh, from view. Um, and you won't get an error. Um, for control, um, this was a bit tricky because there isn't a whole lot of documentation on the control uh, API, um, but between the PowerShell module that exists and the little bit of documentation that I was able to find, um, I found that you can use the add session events uh, endpoint to do pretty much everything. Um, you just have to figure out how to format the request, which is rather strange. Um, but once I got that working, that basically that that deletes the session from control. Um, <clears throat> for Huntress, um, they their API doesn't support deleting the agents yet, um, but it does support checking to see if one is there. Um, so we can at least check to see if it's there and should be removed manually. Um, and then at some point, if they do decide to add the ability to delete, I'll add that in there. So this one's just kind of a placeholder. Um, and then for Emibots, um, kind of the same thing. We're just searching. Uh, if we find a machine, we delete it. Um, not really a whole lot for that. Um, so Sophos, we are a pretty heavy Sophos partner. Um, so I decided to work on their integration before it existed. Um, so I used the uh, secret org variables and um, the ability to redact uh, information to build my own little uh, integration. So I have a sub workflow that handles the authentication and then handles the tokens that are required back to this workflow. Um, and then for the rest, we just come down here. So uh, we look for a tenant. Um, I had to build a loop to handle the pagination here. Uh, and then we look for a particular endpoint. And then again, if we find it, we delete it. If not, we move on. Um, and then this last one here is just generating a report of what happened. Um, so for Automate, we were able to schedule a script, just make sure that the agent's actually gone. Um, I put in notes about other products that I want to add to this. So for Avic, I want to see if we have a collector. Um, cloud radial, I want to see if that has a machine in there. Um, and then just kind of going down the list of, of all of our tools and whether or not a machine was removed or found or whatever. Um, and then that obviously gets put into the ticket. So uh, a technician can review and make sure that everything was done. Uh, and if it wasn't done, um, go back and make sure it doesn't get done. <clears throat> 